In a lot of organizations, multiple groups of people are responsible for very specific processes. As the company grows, these groups operate in silos, which leads to a complete lack of transparency and control. There is no way of telling if departments are following the rules, and the risk of major segregation of duties breaches has become enormous. In some cases, big fines are the result of these situations that could turn out to be disastrous. Every angle is able to continuously monitor purchase to pay, order to cash, and financial transactions in order to manage all kinds of risk. We have developed a GRC control tower that empowers users leading up to an audit or in finance departments with a defense against data nonconformance. The left column deals with credit limit, followed by segregation of duties violations and journal entries that have been entered after the closing of a fiscal period. The first gauge highlights all customers that do not have a specific credit limit. Right now, we are reaching the critical zone with 200 customers. The graph below is a breakdown of this number per account group, starting with the group where most improvements can be made. 75 can be fixed by focusing on the biggest account group alone. The next column shows a list of invoices that have been entered by the same user that has also entered the purchase order. These situations happen when the user has too many different roles and could potentially make unauthorized purchases. As we can see here, a user called Rendez is mainly responsible for all violations. Now we can inspect if this user is authorized and find out if enough additional controls are in place to know for sure the procedures are carried out correctly. This gauge highlights all cases where a single user has created both a sales order and a billing document. As this might be marked as a segregation of duties conflict, an additional review of these sales orders is recommended. To understand where the most violations are coming from, this detailed graph highlights the users that have knowingly or unknowingly bypassed the regulations. When we drill down into user Mossberg, we can see all documents involved and all other info needed to fix these violations. The last column shows all journal entries that have been entered after the closing of a fiscal period. As with all gauges and graphs, the safe and critical limits can be customized. In this example, we are reaching the critical area of 40,000 entries. Most entries have been added in one period. This graph includes both the German and United States locations of our example company, shown in blue and green. When we drill down into the more than 24,000 entries from the U.S. location, we can see who is responsible for each entry and perform further analysis. Apart from daily process control monitoring, this GRC control tower provides support in preparing for annual audits, risk analysis across purchase to pay, order to cash and finance, and root cause analysis on compliance exceptions. Now that's being in control. Why take risks when you can have this kind of insight?